guys, great news. After all inspection ready, we checked rebar, balconies, everything was spot on. Now the concrete is in and it's set. It's a time now for us to jump in, be the first on the slab, start doing the as build, start marking the columns, all vertical elements, walls, and make sure everything's gonna be passed so we don't have to come back till the old columns are poor. So let's go. So first of all, guys, as builds. I know no one is thinking about them, but they're very important. And for this, we want to be first on the slab, guys. And even if it's possible, just try to come even half an hour early. And if you can start, guys, earlier than anyone else, just please do it. That's going to save you time later and that's going to be make pressure out of you. And this probably your senior engineer or PM asking you to do so anyway and to prepare everything before everyone jumps on top. It's later going to be a bit late. Everyone's going to be jumping there. The stuff going to be coming on the slab. So it's going to be, to do in us, it's going to be just impossible and marking all the columns, everything. Be a couple more times difficult than you have slab for yourself so straight after our section is done we're gonna start doing the slab level check obviously we're gonna be using survey program for it we're gonna be saving the points and we're gonna put them later on the drawing to see how the level looks really and for these guys I recommend to change the target height so once we do our survey once we're gonna bring that into our computer we're gonna plot it on the cut we're gonna have minus two minus three or whatever it is but we're not gonna have it all that level and we don't have to play later on an excel spreadsheet or something it's crazy next thing we're gonna be checking guys that's the box Boxes. obviously we want to make sure they in that's the first thing one day on actually on our survey that means they in so that's the very first thing to know they in okay obviously we want to check the balconies as well and especially stabs guys we want to confirm position and check level as well as now it's too late to change anything but guys I'm gonna come back to this a little bit later and that's why I want you to do it now as well once you're on the slab you're just starting your survey just check the balconies so that's it in terms of us build guys obviously we're gonna be tight with time so we want to do it as quickly as possible and we want to get as much information as possible before we're gonna start marking columns and this is the second thing why we have to be on the slab first guys and as I always say communication is the key so we need to know what columns gonna be first to go so we're gonna start marking as we go with asbis really we can start marking the columns as well so what information we need at this point guys so as you can see now on this video I want you to give all the information for the guys as this is gonna take pressure off you later you're not gonna be coming back and being asked questions once everything is marked there and they should know what they're doing so obviously we got two lines guys and we got the size of the column which is great and then we got the height of the column and I'm gonna jump now to the drawing guys I was using before and I'm gonna show you why at this point we need the GA for the next level so we can actually determine the height of the columns at, at this point we need it really so I'm gonna jump now to the drawing guys and I show you why this is so important to know what's happening above us so I'm gonna jump to the drawing I showed you actually in the first video guys but let's imagine this is actually so fit for us now and we are on the ground for the level below and we want to be checking actually the level of our slab here so as you can see here on this side where there's a grid line CL we're going to be checking that columns here from the first video we know they're going to be pulled lower but we're going to double check that now so these columns here actually guys starting from 46 to 50 and as you can see here there is a step here uh, in the slab and the level here on the left is 46 400 so this is a different starting level for these columns actually and that's why it is so important we're going to check actually nearly every single one of them so let's go back quickly here to that drawing and as we know here the soffit level of this one is 49 400 and this is going to be actually top of our column plus that 20 mil I mentioned in other video and actually I recommend you to watch that video when I explained a little bit better I just want to quickly to remind you this and then this side here the top of the column going to be in this case soffit for this slab which is going to be 49 700 plus our 20 mil so we're going to be 49 720 guys and I'm going to come back to here so quickly checking this one guys we got that 49 400 minus this level guys minus 46 to 50 that's going to give us 300 150 columns so we're going to pour it 3 170 we're going to give that 20 mil extra as i said and in this case guys our next level soffit was at level 49 700 and so we're going to take 49 700 minus 46 400 and that's going to give us 3 meter 300 we're going to get that 20 so 3 3 20 guys what i just quickly show you guys on some signs you can actually find something like this which is going to be a column head uh, obviously they're going to be dashed line and the black one but that's going to mean that there is a column head guys and obviously we're going to be pouring the column to the column head bottom as the column head itself is going to be formed later why we're we going to be decking for the next level so make sure we're going to be pouring actually to the bottom of this head plus that 20 mil 
So guys, I think that will be all when we're going to be jumping actually next day after we pull the slab. It might seem not much, but there's a lot of mistakes can happen, guys. As you can see, we need to determine the columns. We need to do the as builds. But before I finish, guys, I want to tell you why the as builds are so important. They, they always ignore, but they're coming back later and it might be painful. You need to know that any mistakes picked up at the early stage actually can be sorted without a lot of cost and without a lot of trouble. And the ones that are going to keep later, they're going to be a big problem. So for instance, if any box is missing, guys, we want to make sure we know it now and we're gonna get the core drill before the pipe fitter is gonna come and this is gonna be actually sorted and, and let's take the balcony stabs guys uh, I remember one of my jobs uh, the company said if some of the stabs are wrong there's no big problem guys once we send them straight away they can actually they do in hundreds of balconies so doing a few balconies to suit our as builds it might be actually free of charge but you can imagine once that balcony come ready on site you're gonna start to fit it and it's not gonna be right Disaster guys. Imagine how much the balcony costs and imagine the delays it's gonna cost. So that's why guys, as builds, as builds and once more as builds. No one is thinking about it, everyone ignoring this and then the big costs come in later and then everyone comes, uh, where was the engineers, where are the as builds? Crazy guys, crazy. So thank you again for watching guys. I think you should know everything now about the suspended slab guys. You'll be ready to just go and whatever stage you're gonna find your job, you are good to go. So as always guys, if you like it, just please don't forget to leave the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, there's gonna be more coming. And leave some comments as well if you want more information about anything that I could miss. And see you next time.